Hello my lovelies, welcome back. So I told myself I wouldn't, but I might do a couple gargoyle pulls just because I realized I have a lot of coins and why not? But let's check my Hero Academy. Now I've not gotten anything good from Hero Academy since like one of the first. Ooh, I should have probably done that first. Well, we'll check at the very end, I guess. Cause there's not a lot of time, less than four minutes. I have not done any gargoyle bowls yet, and I'm not really planning to use a lot here. Maybe to fill my fate at 18 or 16 at most, just to see what's going on. But I have over 100 pulls and coins, plus I'll probably get a almost 50 maybe throughout like offers through the month before. Because you know, I explained this before, but my big goal is Challenge Festival for Guardian Gazelle costume. So I wanted to save everything I could for that. Now that's not even a good sign. Seven, maybe? I don't know. If it's all crap, we'll stop at a hundred. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. I could do a temple, but I think I'd rather save my gems for War Three Kingdoms. See, I'm trying to use my gems up. Helps me not, I don't know, expect, not expect, but my hopes aren't as crushed, I guess, because saving gems for months can really do that to you, because you hope you get something, and then when you don't, it's a real... Real hope killer. Oh. Now, who would I like in this? I have all the three stars and four stars. And the five stars I have are Arco and Gaylard. So really any of the other five stars. The ones I want most are Hohenwerf and Gosek, probably. Penulite. The two new ones would be great, too. But, again, not doing enough pulls to be able to expect anything here. You'd have to do 100 on average to see just one event 5 stars. So if you've done less and you've gotten more, you are lucky. I'm not a lucky person, so at best I can hope to just maybe land one, it, but that would be lucky. I'm average in these. These 1% portals, which is fine. Ew. It's been almost all season 1. If I think it has been all season 1. Yucky. Yuck, yuck, yuck. My Hero Academy is probably going to be shit too. Um... What do you say? Okay. Well, just doing a little bit. Mostly we'd rather have Garzelle over any of these, so. Or Anne, or Panther costume, Black Knight costume. This is not going well at all, though. I'm not seeing a trainer here. I'm not seeing any gargoyles. Okay, <laughs> as I say, Kahlo pops out. It's better. Hmm. And we need eight more. Eight more to feel faded. I don't know why I'm going for that, but it's just a goal. It's nothing really in particular. So many coins, though. The most coins I've ever amassed before. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Nope. Is this always going to be trainer heroes? Okay. Five more? This has been really bad. Probably shouldn't have pulled, but, you know, I see people post and, like, there's that piece of me that's like, ah, just try it. So I don't want to do a lot, but, you know, just to test it out. Boot it in. How many more? Two more? My first pull is in 2023. Last one. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Yeah, ooh, bad. So, you know, that's okay. I didn't do very many there, so I can't really expect anything. No here of the month, though, but there's all month to get that. And now we have to check Hero Academy, yes. But, I mean,. I probably, you can't know, 2020's, you know, you have 2020 in hindsight, so obviously I wish I'd just saved those coins, but, I mean, if I would've landed a 5 star, I would've been happy with that, and that's kind of just the deal I made with myself, but I didn't use that many coins, it was less than 20, and by next challenge festival, or next challenge event, challenge festival, I'll have 100, plan to do 150, close to 150 coins, and... Then there's gems, too, so if I stockpile, I'll have plenty. I really, really, really hope I can get something I've always wanted there. So, 
there is a little bit of expectation there, like hope, because I am saving. And that's what happens when I save. I just, I get that expectation. It's probably natural, but let's, I gotta feed, because clearly I don't have space. When I feed costumes, I have to ensure their skill maxes out before they hit 70, because, you know, I used to play with 370, so I never would max, but even now, I mean, a lot of them probably will never get maxed. So I'm saving all these green feeders for costume Leanna, because... She probably will never get maxed, but I want her costume skill to get, because or else it's just like, oh, it eats at me. My OCD wants to, like, murder that hero, and it's, it's painful. It's very, very painful. So, we are doing some feeding, and you come out with me to see one of my hero academies. I usually don't show you all, but figure lines up, so why not? How many more feeders? You get that. Oh, do I have to feed her? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Got just enough here. Goodbye, Kahlo. I already have two Kahlo. That's all I need. Okay. I think that's... Yep. All right. This is going to suck because it almost... I think it always sucks. Like, the only thing I ever got that was good from Hero Academy was a Lacey, but that was without costume. It was just she was a new hero. The costumes I've gotten were costume Quintus, which sucks. Costume Horkal who sucks. Custom Sartana, who already had, who also is not good. And the heroes I've gotten were Mogar, who sucks. Aker, who sucks. And then Alicey. I think that's everyone. So, all sucky. Some were new. Most of those costumes I listed were new, but they weren't good. And, yeah, I'm very... Do I have enough food? Do I have enough... Let's double check that. Had to... Of 97 is how much I need. We'll go a little over. I'm making mana pots. Yep. Not good. And this is probably 110. I take pictures of each one so I can keep, remember and keep track. So it's been, I think this is the 110th retrain. And I've gotten, what did I list? Three costumes and three non season one heroes. Very under odds in that sense. And they all sucked, except for Alacy, so. Ooh, boo. Hero Academy really needs a buff. It's especially compared to the other things that have been released since, like Soul Exchange and even Faded Summons to a lesser degree. It's like way behind. They haven't even added any new heroes to this. The secondary costumes, the closest thing. But I mean, there's new challenge events they could have added. Seasonal event heroes, I guess some of the new ones they maybe wouldn't, but it's disappointing and there's still that 5% chance to get a costume even on a non-season one. That's stupid. To me, it feels like if you get lucky enough to get a hero that has a costume, just give it, just give him the costume. And like, at this point, now we have two secondary costumes, two costumes for season one. What, what would it do to just give away the first set? Because the first set's almost like useless. Other than a select few, Marjana and Leonidas, Catalan, and maybe Vivica, one costume isn't going to do a whole lot to shift the meta, but it'll help, you know, free-to-play, cheat-to-play players, you know, get their season one a little bit more playable. So it just seems like they could do, or at least raise the odds. It's like 50% for those. And like 15 for bonus or some shit. I don't know. But that was just a rant. Just a rant. Okay, well... There you have it. There it goes. I don't know. 16 pulls in Gargoyles plus my Hero Academy retraining. You can let me know in the comments how your Gargoyle pulls went, but remember share the whole picture, especially if you want to share the five stars you pulled. It's very misleading to just share the five stars without the context, so include, if you can't remember exact amount, guesstimate how many pulls you did in the total in that portal. Not like, hey, I did a temple and I got this. Unless that's all you did. If you did multiple temples, please say so. And... That's basically everything I won't be summoning now until War of Three Kingdoms later on in the week. Oh, here, we can look at my loot. I just, I don't want to put much effort, so I just go for the epic hero tokens, because it requires the least amount of battle items while still getting good loot. But, as I was saying, I won't be doing any summons until later in the week for War of Three Kingdoms, because there will be offers that, you know, it's like dollar per pull. I do not buy... Like, every offer, only the cheapest ones, so I have to wait for that. And that's basically everything I might summon later in the week 
Underwild, but I don't have any coins because I used them all to Zenda for nothing, so. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm off to, I don't know, but hope you all have a good night, hope you had a great weekend, have a great week, be safe, be good, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!